have a target. All this broken bedrock here, that's the stuff you want to move. And that's where gold gets trapped. Oh boy. <laughs> yes! So, Jordan reached out to me about a year and a half ago on Instagram. She's a huge forager and crystal collector, and she asked me if I could take her out gold prospecting. I said no. She showed up anyways, so here we are. Keith and I were driving pretty fast, and I went around the corner really sharp, right? And we blew her back tire. We had to pull over, because obviously we can't drive very fast when you have blow a tire out, right? We heard something in the bushes, and I wasn't really sure what it was. We thought maybe it was just some kids around, because we were kind of near park, and we kind of like, you know, uh, like a campus just like that. But you know, when you're in the campsite, kids uh, don't really fall. run around on the road. Fall. So I kind of figured, fall. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. We just finished filming a rock climbing adventure and now we have to leave right away and go to the airport to pick up our next guest. We're gonna do some gold panning, metal detecting and really just whatever else we have time for. So let's go. Hey Polly, I'm on my way. This is Jordan Medley. So. Hi, it's Madley. I've been telling everybody it's, it's Madly. Jordan Madley, I know who I'm talking to. It's so. Madley. Oh. Oh. Look both ways. We drove to the end of the land to take a boat to the island. This is so beautiful. This is so gorgeous. I mean, no picture can ever do this justice. Now what? I gotta show you how to go pan. Do you know how to go pan? Yeah. No. Okay. There's a lot of things I could teach you about gold panning, but the most basic thing is gold is super heavy. Can you see all the stuff? I see the stuff. All the stuff is super light, so you have to get below it. What you want to find is bedrock. The difference between bedrock is rocks, you can move. Bedrock, you can't. No moving. No moving. No moving. That's all I know, the end. The further down you go, the darker it gets, the more sticky it gets, and the more chances the heavier material is down there. Yeah. So you want to put all the heavy material into the pan. Whoa! Ah! It's delicious. Look at that slug. I'll tell you. Oh, I'll tell you. Ate it. We should know. Oh, you should be in wetness. You go there. Oh, the slug. So this is where you want to separate all the material, okay. and then you want to mix everything up so it's not sticky anymore. And this, dump it. You, yeah, well, not yet. You want to look because sometimes you will find nuggets in the top there, right? <gasps> you look around, and sometimes you find more slugs. Oh God! So slowly lean it forward. Okay. So the idea is to imagine all the heavy stuff in that bottom ripple, that yeah. bottom corner right there. Yeah. Right. And then you let the water do the work. You see how the water is taking the first layer off? Yeah. Yeah. And shake it all down again. It's so zen. Like, it's a yes. form of meditation. So you just keep doing that until you're at the bottom of the pan. Use the slow <gasps> motions. Keep on. Keep watching. I saw something. I didn't get nothing, so. Yes! One piece of gold. Yeah. So I found black sand and she found a little piece of gold. Yoo-hoo! So you squeeze it. Yeah. Go up to the gold and you let it go. This snuffer bottle sucks. There we go. When rocks roll across the bedrock, they slide like this and they'll fall into the cracks. And gold, fortunately, are so heavy enough they're gonna fall into the bottom of that crack. Okay. Do you ever wonder like where there's just some giant massive nugget that you're just stepping over? I think about that every two seconds. I just found the uh, first surface piece of what? the day. Yeah, come here. <gasps> no way! Wow, it's a big nugget! It's so adorable. Tell me if you can see that or not. No, you do your thing, I'll be back. Where's your snapper bottle? Ow! 
Oh, sorry. Is that the spot? What? Sorry, I didn't actually mean to hit you in the face. <laughs> so my, well, I guess second pan now. Did we find candy? I think we may have not have, probably not. Oh, we have found a couple of micro poops. Very small stuff. Honestly, I'll probably bring up my metal detector and find some actual, <laughs> actual nuggets. Did you find anything yet? I'm feeling really good about this pan. Oh my god. You find anything yet? When you're done, I have a, a target with the metal detector. So, come join me after. Okay. Cool. Just don't get wet. Okay, wait. So right here. So there's something there's something in there. Ah! Oh my god! <sighs> uh-huh. So does the size of the target affect the noise at all? Uh yeah, if it's really big it'll be loud sooner. If yeah. it's really small, it'll only be loud if it's really close to it. <laughs> it's gold! <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a nail. Wah, wah. It's a good sign that there could be more nails around. I'm gonna go walk upstream just a little bit. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna take my shoes off. Take your shoes off. Because they're wet for some reason. And yeah. Okay, so I'm using my cell phone right now because Keith is upstream doing some filming. I have a target. I just gotta um, plug this guy so I can show ya. <coughs> Judging by how loud this target is, it's probably gonna be a nail. But it's worth digging every target just in case. Uh, all this broken bedrock here, that's the stuff you wanna move. And that's where gold gets trapped. Oh boy. <laughs> yes! That was fast. Wow. That's a nice ball bearing. Sorry, I'm not pointing the phone where I want to point it. Where'd it go? Oh. Wow, yeah. That looks like one of Kitty's painted rocks, but nope. That's uh. That's a fine looking nugget. I'm probably looking in a terrible spot. <laughs> so it seems we have another target. Barely audible, but it's uh, a target. And being that we just found a nugget there, chances are it could be another nugget. Come on, Keith, where are you? She is. I don't want to scratch it either. I hate scratching gold. I'm gonna pour some water on it. Look at that guy. <laughs> it might be bigger than our other one. Our other one's thick, but this one's long. Oh, I moved. Come on, baby. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Sweet. Right there in the center of the screen. A little piece. Now let's see if I can get it out while looking through the camera lens. Wow, okay. A little bigger than I thought. Right there. There we go. A nice picker. Or a flat flake. So just as I was about to leave, I did one more scan and we <laughs> I just saw it shining back at me right at the bottom of this crack. You see that? It's just showing up when I move it. <laughs> yes! This is a nice little pocket. That's a nice picker. Boop. Yeah, this spot is darn good. There you be. Two more pieces of gold. What? 
No! <laughs> oh my I tried God. really hard not to fall, but I found all this in one single crack. Oh, it's so beautiful. Can I hold it? <gasps> it's so heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'ma put it in my pocket. No, it's mine! No, it's no, I filmed it with my cell phone because Keith was filming something else. You don't find gold like that every single day. It's actually surprisingly really hit and miss on this creek, but when you do find it, you typically find a lot. Bloop. Bloop. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. I'm gonna keep this down. Okay, new location, for sure. <laughs> So I took Jordan upstream in hopes to find her more candy. Did I prevail? Mm. Oh god. <laughs> that was close. Uh. Uh. <laughs> you want this as low to the ground as possible. Okay. Because if it's up, up the ground three inches, then you're missing three inches of depth. Okay. So you want it at the very bottom. And if you see yeah. crack, run this side and the crack. Okay. And you can move it. Okay. Have fun! Where's a good spot? Give me guidance. All the bedrock. Anywhere the along this area right here. But not right here. Not right there. Not the moss? No, not right there here. Wait, what? 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 No, no, okay, you fail. I'm just following your lead. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm following your lead. If you yeah. ever see a bit like, like this, you see that rock there that's stuck? Yeah, move it. That's awesome. So you want to work anywhere you see. Whoever's just stuck with things. Okay, would you put like all this sticks. in a pan or not really? I don't know, I wouldn't, but I mean, you can. Might as well do it all. If I was you, I would dig here. I rock. feeling that I'm gonna do this and while I'm doing this he's gonna find a giant nugget I found a little bit of gold I found gold <laughs> see that's you know what that is it's a piece of candy it's my gold it's your gold it's my gold I found gold Oh no, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Ready? <gasps> this is my first time snoofling up a piece of coal. Oh, 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 oh. You get it? Yeah. There you go. Make sure he's got down there. All right, so we're calling it a day today. We all did some gold panning. We brought the metal detector and detected all the way Chloe! up the stream and down. Chloe! Come check this out. Uh, okay. Uh, one sec. <laughs> Do you see it? No, a rock? No, come on. Do you know what that is? A rock, mosquito. No, 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 no. That is the perfect place to repay a debt. Oh, Earlier that day. Just fueling up and there's a challenge in the air. So whoever can catch the candy in their mouth first wins. Wins. And what happens to the winner or the loser? They have to jump in the river. No, <laughs> you look a little nervous. Really confident. Are you sure? Oh! <laughs> Three, two, oh! Oh! Paul's gonna jump in the river. Oh, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's for you, kitty. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. Stay cool, <laughs> literally. So that didn't go to planned. I mean, uh, we went metal detecting, we found some gold, we did some gold pans, found a little bit of gold, but we do have to go. Keith has to go catch a ferry, and I have to go catch up to Jordan. Let's go back to the house, and I'll show you the gold a little closer. <laughs> All right, so I am relatively dry now. The hat, not so much, but that's okay. I also never caught up with Jordan. I was really hoping she would find something special today, but that's okay, because when I'm done shooting this video, I am sending her all of the gold. 
Not a bad looking pan overall. I've definitely had worse. This chunk of gold really reminds me of the painted rocks Kitty made for me in a previous video. Let's weigh it all in. Starting with the little picker first. This one weighs 10 grams. 0.1. All right, so legitimately a picker. Now let's weigh the second biggest piece, 50 grams. 1.9 grams, so on the dot. Next one, I'm gonna actually guess 0.6. 0.39, way, way off. Now for this nugget, two grams, two grams. Wow, okay, 1.97, so just about two grams. I'm gonna tear this, make it nice and clean. Now, all of the gold together. Let me point the camera in the right place for you guys. That would probably help. So doing my math, it's gonna be 58 ounces. 2.89 grams, so pretty close to 58 ounces. Not bad. So 68,000 ounces of gold isn't bad for a day's worth of work. I usually post a video maybe once or twice a month, and I know that's pretty awful. And it's only because I'm my own editor and it takes about 10 to 14 days to edit a full video. If you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the near future. Also, if you want to subscribe to this channel, it will really help. And if you're on Facebook, follow this page because it would really help. I'm also on Instagram if you want to see behind the scenes footage. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Black screen and logo. Look at that slug. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs>